Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas 2021! So guys, I'm back with another Vlogmas and today's plan is a little shopping at Fort Newman Mason to show you around of course and maybe to pop into a whiskey shop I don't know, let's see how it goes and it is so loud in there but I put a windscreen on my camera so hopefully you can hear me okay looks like a giant advent calendar again gorgeous decorations as always okay so let's zoom in closer so I can show you this beautiful clock also look at this pedestrian crossing this is part of gallery without walls project by Royal Academy I'm not sure if it stays till Christmas or not but Piccadilly looks lovely right now isn't it what do you think let me know in the comments because I quite like it Okay, so the shop has been opened. Oh, can you hear it? Okay guys, so these two men represent the store's founders. Mr. Fortnum and Mr. Mason. They appear once an hour to bow at each other, I guess? How lovely is it? So let's have a look at the main entrance. Look at this beautiful bubbles arch. There's one more entrance and let me show you the side entrance as well. And this is glorious side entrance. The side entrance is gorgeous. Look at all those Christmas trees. And one more entrance to the Fort Numbers, but basically it's for the restaurant. Again, before we come inside, let me show you the window displays. They're famous for their humpers. So as you can see, there's this huge Fort Newman Mason humper. And one more. How gorgeous is this? Here's one more window display. You can hear clock chimes on the background. So what do we have here? More chocolate and sport mugs and advent calendar as well. This is the champagne window display. Oh, and this display is beautiful. Look at this. This is the Christmas range. So basically this is the Christmas cookies, mugs and uh, bubbles and okay biscuit this these biscuits are so good I need to get those um, this is the Christmas black tea anyway I'll show you all of these products up close once we're inside the shop this display is so vibrant look at all those candy and sweets yummy so what we have here, there are bottles of champagne and disco balls. I bet it looks pretty when it's dark. What is this? This is so cute. Look at all those biscuits. Oh my god, this is insane. This is all the veggies, broccoli and Brussels sprouts and parsnips. Look at those. Here we have a squirrel on a swing. <laughs> and nuts all the nuts around him this window display is with hedgehogs look at those <laughs> sliding on the candy canes and here we have cheese and mouse and look at this one peekaboo <laughs> Okay guys, I think it's time to go and have a look. So once inside, it's impossible not to notice these gorgeous chandeliers. I 
absolutely love the interior here. Okay, so what we have here? Stars? Are those stars? I don't know. And little colorful diamonds. So cute. I love their last year display with those huge cans hanging from the ceiling. But this one is nice too. What do you think, guys? As you can see, the best time to visit Fordham and Mason is in the morning when it's not that busy and not that many people. Okay, so where should we start? Should we, should we grab the Christmas bag? I think we should. So this is floor minus one. This is where they sell their delicious truffle mayo. Mm -mm. I'm trying to find it, so... There is a horseradish. Hmm, where's the mayo? There's mustard. So I found tartufo, I found truffles. Like truffle sprays and salt, but I can't find the truffle mayo. Here we have some of the Christmas stuff. The mince pies, the traditional thing to eat uh, in December. <laughs> um, I maybe take the almond ones. Let's see. Okay, so here we have pudding as well. Another mince pie. This is how mince pie looks like, by the way. So here we have a panettone, and also there is a Pandora. I think Pandora is Italian festive kind of cake, right? Um, I never tried this one before, though. This is something I don't eat because I don't like it. It's pickled beetroot. I don't know why. Why would you eat it, honestly? I mean, pickled cucumber, that's okay with me. But pickled beetroot? I don't know. So this is those Christmas biscuits I showed you um, in the window display. Also, there's this Christmas black tea and coffee. Everything Christmas dark chocolate, Florentines and cranberry ones I think it makes a nice little gift okay so I didn't find truffle mayo so let's go upstairs wow look at those stars This huge stool is all with tea infusions. Here we have loose tea in the classic tins. I think I'm gonna grab this elderflower green tea because I love it. And this one is loose. But you can have it in the tea bags as well. Also, I'm gonna grab this one, rose bochong not sure how to pronounce it but it's really good it's black tea again everything is valuable in a tea bags in case you don't like loose tea oh also they have a huge varieties of different strainers again such a lovely gift isn't it here they have lots of different coffee blends but i think i'm gonna go upstairs to see what they have in their christmas decorations department so this was ground floor and now we're going upstairs look at those flying cups and saucers <laughs> such a lovely display oh and a christmas wreath nice so on the first floor you can find tableware and homeware look at this beautiful table setting oh i love this crockery this is all sports we have the same plates but in blue it's blue italian and this one is green and red and black more sport tableware and this is the classic tableware they use it when they serve an afternoon tea in here and i celebrated my birthday in here last year we had a wonderful festive afternoon tea experience i have a video on my youtube channel all about it so make sure to watch it and this is the gorgeous palo as you can see people are sitting in there and this is famous sport christmas table where we have the same kind of plate but without this ornament on the rim just with christmas tree and we got it in tk max for half price so it's always good to check tk max you know
Oh, and look at this Christmas black tea tin. It's huge. So I guess this is the Christmas department. And I think I'm gonna grab this Christmas black tea as well. Because it's lovely. And this is the tea advent calendar. I think it's really nice because you can try 24 different blends. And this is the refill to the advent calendar. I'll show it to you later. We loved biscuits from this team, so I think I need to find out what biscuits I miss. There is a chocolate pearl and caramel shortbread, so I need to find them. Again, more traditional mince pies, but this one is a small box. Christmas pudding. Again, this is something I don't really like to eat, so I guess it's a very traditional thing to eat, and I don't really understand the taste of it. Look at that cute little Fortnum and Mason humper. Wouldn't mind to receive this one. Now I'm trying to find those biscuits and there's so many different ones. This one is pecan and ginger biscuits. I found Christmas tea biscuits, but I think they're different. Love the packaging for the chocolate coins. So pretty. There's Christmas green tea as well. But I think it's in a bags. Yes, and it's, it's in a silky bags. Look at this hot chocolate packaging. It looks so medicinal. <laughs> Don't you think? Wow, love it. Why everything in Fort Man Mason is so pretty? Oh my god, look at this. I think I found the cutest mint spice in the world. Look at this. It's a little bit bigger than my thumb. Oh, the crackers is stunning. Look at those. Oh my goodness, look at the packaging. Okay, so shall we go upstairs? This is floor number two. This is where you can find all the different gifts. As you can see, there is skincare and perfumes. And here we have a beautiful view. So there is Van Halligan store. Let me show you my favorite perfume. This is my favorite for winter time. It's so fresh. My battery just died, so I changed it and let's go on the third floor. Welcome to Christmas Ornaments Paradise, guys. Oh, I love this classic Fortnum ornaments. So cute. There are more crackers. Oh, I love this one. Look at the bow. I think we have enough ornaments on a Christmas tree, but every year I find something new. I think this one is new. Oh, this is so nice. By the way, Wondles is one of my favorite brands. This is Christmas ornaments from Amsterdam and they make the best ones. This one is pretty too. I haven't seen this one before. Looks nice. Last year we bought the same tin but Christmas one. And we bought this hamper. Again, look at this one. Those bubble. How oh, pretty. Well, this huge bubble is not for a Christmas tree, that's for sure. <laughs> look at this. It's so big. And look at this beautiful The Nutcracker pop-up book. I absolutely love this one. I think I'm gonna buy this for Rosie. She would love it. Also, they have a huge variety of Christmas cards, but I think my Christmas cards are pretty special. So this is the advent calendar. One is musical one, one is not. Again, it's on my list for a long, long time. It's quite expensive, so maybe one day i'll buy this one everything glistens and everything's bright everyone's happy spirits are light i am sitting here thinking alone so no luck to find exactly these biscuits i think they're special one but it's easy to find wherever you like because there's the pictures of the biscuits over here so you can see what you're buying. So I think the closest to this ones will be this chocolate 
apple shortbread, but it's without caramel, unfortunately. And I'm gonna grab almond top main spice as well. So guys, that's it. Now I'm gonna go to pay for this. Along with my drink, as I do this time of the year. Do you remember when love was around? When we were aglow, the talk of the town When I'm sitting here drinking I can't help but think about you, about us, as I do So Christmas shopping is done and let's have a look at New Bond Street Look at all those decorations Just a dream that never came true. I am sitting so I'm just outside of the Ralph Lauren store on Bond Street and you know what I always wanted to try the coffee from the coffee shop and the queue is quite long but you know let's come inside Sinking, drink after drink as I, do. I don't know why guys I but I have such massive New York vibes Cheers! Okay, so no tables are available so I'm gonna sit under the Christmas tree and I know you'll be asking about prices so I got latte I paid four pounds and I got brownie four pounds as well so eight pounds for coffee and a snack okay guys so first sip of the Ralph Lauren coffee mm, not too bad So now I'm in St. James's and this whole area next to Green Park Station called St. James's and this is such a lovely neighborhood. I love it, especially the architecture. Just look at all those buildings, look at all those facades. Shall I show you one of the most hidden places in London? Hmm, I shall. Let's go. So this is famous Lock and Co. They make hats for a really long time but we are going to the whiskey shop over here so this is the name of the whiskey shop and right here there's this pickering place and make sure to visit it because this is absolutely stunning and not many people know about this place actually and it's stunning in Christmas time because they have their own Christmas tree look at this and Christmas wreath oh my goodness how magical is this so guys what do you think let me know if you knew this place existed whiskey shop or oh, they sell wine as well and gin um, and buy a bottle of whiskey to someone special
so guys my Christmas shopping is done for now I hope that by the time you're watching this video all the presents are under the Christmas tree I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you soon bye